is a very technical uh, presentation, but I'll try to make it easy for you to understand and try to make it a little bit differently from traditional presentations. Uh, I have a lot of slides, but I promise I will finish in time. And as a beginning, I, I'm showing you the first slide without talking anything because of something you will understand later. But just remember what you are seeing. It's not a mistake, you will understand later. And now I'm going to show you the system working. Hello, my name is Romeo from Albania. In this video, I'm going to introduce transparent interactive screen board for virtual and real face-to-face -face teaching. In traditional face-to-face -face teaching, the teacher most of the time writes on the board showing to the students his back, not the face. In our process, the teacher, as you will see, will stay all the time face-to-face -face to the student. That is why we call this process a real face-to-face. -face. The word real in the title stands also for the fact that this is a real lesson with real students recorded in a real time. No additional stuff is needed. The teacher is only one person responsible for recording. Virtual face to face because of the recording. You can see this video on the digital media where it is available. As you can see, all the things are displayed in a media between you and me. This is the transparent screen. And this media is all on the same time a transparent board on which I can write with this kind of pencils. As you can see, and erase them with the eraser. This is why we call this system screen board, and not the screen, not the board. But the beauty of this system is the fact that we can interact with this system. The interaction is done by this tool called eBeam Aid, which is in the market. I can show and hide the tool palette wherever I want, and I can interact, as you can see. I can write on this board with different colors, and I can do interactions. This tool is widely used and as you can see, there is a problem with this teacher. He covered with his body and his shadow a lot of information, which is on the screen. In our system, this does not help. Because of the fact that the board is between you and me. Thank you. Make the interaction so you, you can see and enjoy. This is a tool palette which can be used. As you can see. I can write with different colors without spending ink, of course. So these are the lines you saw before. This tool is used all over the world, but as you see, it's a big problem with the, with the shadow of this teacher. As you see, there are graphics. It doesn't matter which kind of graphics. It is important all the graphics come from the computer, and I show or display them all the time in the media between students and me. Going to, to explain now how it is done. It's just a simple construction, as you see, with glass. I can mount on a table. You see it in a corner, in a normal classroom. 
there is my laptop, the only thing I need, and the projector, which is everywhere in the classrooms. This point of view is from the teacher's point of view. And as you can see, there is a web camera here. You see inside the laptop, in the screen of laptop, you see what the camera sees. So nothing, because the wall is behind. I'm the teacher, but I'm not here for a moment. If I write something on the glass, it looks like this. But if you see from the camera, it's right side left. So it's not readable from the students. If you see Athens the second, it's not too much readable. So I put white curtains between me and the students, and now everything is much more readable. So if you see from the point of view of, of students, you see this situation. Here, you cannot read, but here, as you see, because of a flipping image, it's very easy to do by the computer. What the students see, I see on big screen, which is in front of me. I can write whatever I want on the, on the bus, and the students see normal lessons, but they cannot see me because I'm behind this curtain. But they listen, can make questions, I can answer. You see, in the picture, there are graphics coming from computer combined with my picture and what I have written on the glass. You can combine whatever graphics you, you have in computer, as you can see, from PowerPoint, from whatever. And uh, as you see, on the glass, it's written just Athens, but the students see both images combined by software which is running on the computer. So you see the computer screen in this laptop is just PowerPoint, but on the glass is written Athens. And the software combines and show to the students uh, what you saw. Why interactive? Do you know this tool? Somebody who knows this tool? It's a smart marker, which is used all over the world, especially in America, as I know. It is the function of this tool is just the, the function of, of a mouse. Here is the left click button of a mouse. This one is just for showing and hiding the tool palette. And this one is the, the right click button. I have a tool like this and I have mounted in the glass, like you see here. <clears throat> you see, this is the e-beam tool mounted on the, this board. On the TV, you see picture combined or mixed, what camera in front of me takes me and what I have written uh, with normal marker or with electronic ones. So if you see in the laptop, I'm not here, but in this, I am in. So the students see whatever I write and they listen whatever I say. But how the interaction is done? Let's suppose I have to underline the first line of the title. If you see, the first letter comes somewhere near the corner of the, of the screen. If you imagine that the red line is the, the screen, I have to, to start underlining from here. Click the mouse on the glass and mark, as you can see in the picture. We can do whatever action we can make with, with a mouse. It doesn't matter which software you are running. If you see here, there is a camera, which can be even web camera, high definition web camera. 
and I can display whatever I want in my big screen. So the students can see even their classroom. The beauty of this method is a kind of prompter that I can have and the students does not see. So it's a very nice method for professors who are afraid to, to make real lessons. They can put whatever they want in this uh, laptop here. And this is a very nice prompter. During the time uh, I haven't started the lesson yet, I can write on the normal blackboard whatever I want. How the students can uh, access my lessons. There is a portal for the university. You just have to just everywhere write your name. Put a password. And there is a list of all the subjects of a student. And if I go to my subject, it's me here, the, the lessons persons, the seminars person. And if you click here in YouTube icon, there is a list of all the program. Yes. And you follow the lessons in YouTube, as oh, you can see. It's the this was just a simulator of a transparent screen because as you understood, the screen is on the wall and I was somewhere else. But if I put this system in front of the blackboard, take off the blackboard, put another curtain between my students and me and display everything in this side, it makes the feeling that this is a real transparent screen. I'm behind, they see me. In this case, I don't see the students, but if you put another monitor, you can communicate normally with your students.